Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The SS Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for September 22. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. As always there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also right now there's a sale on the SS Store. Everything by Cinti Studios is currently at half price. For me, I'm a big fan of their awesome low poly style. And there's also some flash deals with a super deep 70% discount. So check out the link in the description to see which ones are on the flash discount right now. Alright, so starting off with a pretty huge release. This is Odin Validator. As you can tell by the name, this one is from the same team as the excellent Odin Inspector, which is actually a dependency for this one, but chances are you already own that one. This one is all about helping you validate issues in your game. It helps you easily find missing references, find broken assets, materials, shader errors, missing scripts, broken unit events, and tons more. You can apply automation hooks to run validation before every run or build. You can export validation results to HTML or JSON. And of course, just like with Odin Inspector, you can build your own tools on top of this one. There's all kinds of attributes you can add to your code to make sure everything works exactly as you intend. If you forget something, it will help you find the problem and fix it. So this one definitely looks like an excellent addition to the already excellent Odin Inspector. Then here's a fun tool, a 3D mask. Like the name implies, you can add a mask in 3D, so you make a quad and change what you can see through that quad. This is one of those things that looks really simple, but if you've ever tried doing this yourself, then you know how complex it can be. There's lots of issues with shaders, depth buffers, Z ordering, and so on. So having a simple, easy to use tool to achieve this effect is definitely very worthwhile. You can learn how to add it to your project by just watching a simple 1.5 minute video, it's that simple. Then an interesting tool all about quaternions. For me, I've been using Unity for 10 years now and I still have trouble with quaternions. For the most part, I pretty much just completely avoid them. So this tool helps to make that easier. With one line of code, you can rotate the object exactly as you want it. Now I'm still not exactly sure on exactly what it does. After watching the video and reading the description, I still don't get it. But the promise of easy quaternion certainly has me intrigued. Up next, do you need millions of blades of grass in your game? Then check out this tool. Like the name implies, it's GPU based, meaning super fast and supports tons of objects. This one is a replacement to Unity's terrain grass system, which is apparently CPU based. This one is on the GPU, so there are no hitches on changing LODs. You can render on multiple terrains, it also supports wind. You can color the grass and make it blend with the bottom of the terrain. Certainly, the results in the video definitely speak for themselves. Then, if you want to damage a mesh, look at this tool. The deformation certainly looks very realistic. You can apply it to any mesh. This would be perfect for any game that features collision damage, like for example any car game. It works in real time, and you can deform and repair with code. It's lightweight and performant, all with nicely commented scripts. And speaking of vehicles, if you've ever wanted to make a motocross game, then look at this one. As a kid, I remember having tons of fun playing Motocross Madness. It was a really fun game where you could drive your bike around and do all kinds of tricks. Looking at this asset immediately reminds me of that game. It's based on dots, using jobs and the burst compilers, so it's extremely performant, supporting multiple bikes all active at once. You have several types of bikes you can simulate. You've got a regular dirt bike, adventure bike, quad bike, and so on. You can customize the IK on the human driver, meaning most of the animations are dynamically driven by IK. And of course, you can customize the character itself. And one more fun bonus feature is it has a POV camera designed by using a GoPro camera in real life. So it definitely makes it look really interesting. Then here's a very professional tool for super low latency streaming. That is usually the main problem with tools that do live video. This one is meant for you to show real-time gameplay as fast as possible. For example, you can see what someone is seeing through their HoloLens, you can share virtual reality with friends, collaborate in real time, and a bunch more. The main thing is stability and performance. Then for a UI tool with some strange but interesting effects, you can make some UI elements merge into one another, you can make them dissolve into different shapes and some other weird effects. It's all based on regular UI objects in TextMesh Pro. Definitely a strange thing, but it certainly makes your UI look very unique. Up next, if you're working on a retro low poly game, then look at this low poly terrain editor. You can place and rotate textures, automatically place some detail and import the height map. You can make automatic texturing based on terrain height. And being low poly means you can pick up each individual vertex and terrain and make some really low poly shapes. 
Then if you need a way to record audio in the game, here's a simple tool. It does exactly what you expect, so you can record audio in a multitude of formats. You can grab it from whatever audio source the player has. Then perhaps you can use that audio and let the player add it to their own gameplay clips. Or maybe use it to send a voicemail to some friends in game. Or perhaps combine it with some kind of cloud machine learning to add voice controls to your game. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Accessor for September 22. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And also check out my own free and paid ads on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.